What's up everybody? I'm Alex. I'm Ingrid. And we're Encrypted Couple, your sexy crypto couple. And today we're here with Jonathan from the Mix social media blockchain. And he's here to talk to us a little bit about Mix and about the, the future of social media. So Jonathan, what do you have to say about this world of centralized social media where there's censorship around every corner and all this bad stuff? Well, we, we just saw Roger Veer giving his, his keynote presentation here at Anarchapoku. And one of the, the main things he was talking about was the, the Bitcoin versus Bitcoin Cash debate. And uh, a major component of this was the, the our, our Bitcoin subreddit. Um, there was, you know, a, a couple of years ago, there was freedom of speech on the, on the Bitcoin subreddit. There was a very good discussion, a very strong community. Um, and then for, for whatever reason, some of the, the moderators started to have stronger and stronger opinions and you weren't allowed to have dissenting opinions. If you, if you wanted to have a, an increased block size, then this was, your opinion was, was deleted from the platform. Um, and ultimately what happened was uh, a rival subreddit was created called, called BTC. Um, but this, uh, this, this subreddit had to start from scratch. They had a, a new user base and they had to create new content. So one of the, the roles we're hoping to do with, with Mixbox is that you can create a, a new filter bubble, uh, but you can take all of the existing content that's all, already been published on Mix into a new filter bubble. Wow, awesome. That's really cool. And so it, why don't you explain to us a little bit about the blockchain architecture behind Mix? Because the way we understand it, it's very unique compared to your average token. And we want to pick your brain a little bit on that. Yeah, so I've really, um, I've, I've been working on this project since, since Ethereum was launched, actually. Um, the, the primary smart contracts have been in development for two and a half years. Um, but eventually I realized that I, I wanted to deploy Mix onto its, its own blockchain. And instead of, instead of deploying it onto the, the Ethereum or, or Ethereum Classic blockchains. Um, at the time, my, my primary motivation was to um, ensure that I, I, the, the blockchain can actually be, be hard forked if we need to, to fix a problem with the mixed blockchain or if we want to take it in a different direction. Um, but uh, there's a, an, another advantage that has appeared. Um, the, the Ethereum blockchain is, is now full. Yeah. Um, How many video guys do we talk about a token and it's like Shocker ERC20? Um, so this is a huge thing that we've already been talking about with our listeners and they want it. We, we, we really wonder how are all these tokens gonna fit on that blockchain? So it's really cool to see you providing a solution for that. Um, I didn't mean to cut you off there, so anything else you'd like to add about how that works? I just, we're passionate here, and a lot, of our, a lot of our listeners, I'm sure, have the same curiosity, so I'll let you continue on and why this is gonna really solve that problem. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people, when I tell them about this project, they, they assume it's an ERC20 token because they're not familiar with the, the concept of just creating an entirely separate Ethereum blockchain. Um, so at, at the moment, there's really there's there's the Ethereum blockchain, there's Ethereum Classic, um, and there's another Ethereum blockchain called Expanse, and now there's there's Mix as well. But I, I think that some of the the more successful tokens on on Ethereum, they're actually they're contemplating breaking out into their own blockchain because they they're feel, feeling very constrained on the Ethereum blockchain because the uh, well the, there's so many transactions, so it's actually it's it's full. It, it got too popular too soon. And the, and the fees have gone up on, on, on Ethereum. Well, you've really got you know some inspiration for us and for I hope for our listeners to go against the grain. If you don't like the way things are working, baby, you can go ahead and change it. And Jonathan's a great example of that. Going, hey, this blockchain's not going to work. I'm just going to create my own. So, um, what do you think really sets Mix apart from Ethereum? I mean, we talked about that it's a copy of it, but what what is making Mix ahead of the game? So with, with Ethereum, it's, it's meant to be a general purpose blockchain. So you can deploy anything on it whatsoever. Whereas Mix, it, it has a more narrow remit. So we're focusing more on, on building just the, the decentralized web, which you know in itself is, you know that, that's not a small project, but it's not as broad a project as Ethereum. So um, just having a, a, a more focused, uh, a more focused application for the blockchain means that we're, we're not competing for space. And it also means if we do need to have a hard fork, if, if something goes wrong with one of our, our smart contracts, then we can bring the community together and decide to make a change in a way that wouldn't be possible on, on Ethereum. Uh, but we're, we're also using other technologies. So another big component is, is IPFS. So the, the, the business logic of, of the system is, is built on Ethereum, so that can be 
fully autonomous. You can have you can have revisions for your content, and you can have voting systems, moderation systems, and that's that's all fully autonomous because it's implemented in smart contracts. But awesome. the, but the content itself is stored in IPFS, so that's much more efficient than than HTTP. So it, it means that you don't need to have a server running that someone is controlling and someone who can censor the content, um, and it's it's much more efficient. So if you know, if you're getting a file and the person sitting next to you already has that file, that file just has to come from, from your neighbor. It doesn't have to come you know, from, uh, from California every time. Yeah. That's awesome. That's really efficient. So uh, one more thing we're wondering, uh, for people who are interested in, in getting some mixed tokens, uh, where can they do that and where can they store them responsibly? Um, so at, at the moment, uh, Mix is available on c-cex.com. Um, so it, it's been trading there for a few months. Um, although on, on that exchange, along with many other exchanges at the moment, they are currently closed to, to new users. Um, we are currently in talks with uh, another exchange. So in the next few weeks, we will be on another exchange. So that will make it that will make it easier. Um, awesome. To, awesome. To get all of That's the That's exciting. Token. Yeah. yeah, we're ready. We're ready to get some. So uh, let us know when that happens. Yeah. Let us know a little bit beforehand. Okay, okay, Actually, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. like a little twenty brown notes. Um, so we heard you have a big party coming up. Why don't you tell our listeners? Because we have our listeners all over the world. Why don't you tell them about your big party coming up in March? Yeah. So on March fifteenth, we, we have a, a party in the Mission District of, of Silicon Valley. So um, we will be announcing that uh, very shortly on our website and uh, and, and on social media. Um, there will be 250 slots, so wow. it, uh, it will be quite competitive to, to get a space there, but uh, we, we hope to um, welcome any, anyone who wants to come. Awesome, and, exciting. Uh, there, there will also be some entertainment, entertainment provided, so after, um, after you're, you're bored of listening to me, there will be uh, uh, a jazz band and some, some swing dancers. Wow, and, fun! Uh, and there will be a uh, free beer for everybody there as well. Okay, well, all right, now you're really talking people's language. So, <laughs> we're wondering, do you have any last thoughts that you want to share with our audience, whether it be about mix, blockchain in general, life in general, anything you want to, a message you want to leave us? Um, I would just encourage everyone to believe on on-chain solutions um, and maintaining your own private keys. So that's that's the best way to, to really, it gives you the authority to, to control your money. And once we have uh, decentralized social media, then you will be fully in control of your ability to, to speak. So we don't need, we won't need governments to give us the right to freedom of speech, the, the technology will yeah. give it to us. Wow, I like that, yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for sharing Mix with us. We're really excited. We hope that we're one of the first crypto YouTubers to join, honestly. Yeah. Because it just sounds so exciting. We want to get on every single decentralized social media platform because that's the future. All these centralized platforms got to go. They don't serve humankind at all. They just pound us with advertisements all day and it just they steal our content. We don't actually own it. It's messed up. So we really appreciate what you do. Well, it's, it's been and, my pleasure. Yeah. And, um, Make sure, as always, you leave your smart cash address and a thoughtful comment below for that five smart cash giveaway, and we'll see you in the next video.